Who loves dealing with passwords? No one, that's who. Making them, remembering them, having to create a new one when they expire and all you want to do is log in. Then, surprise, another breach, and you have to start all over again. With all the accounts we need just to get through a single day online, remembering every single password is impossible. It's no wonder most people decide it's all pointless anyway and just stick to their bad password habits, like using the same password for everything or never changing them. Worse, many people will make the simplest, most hacker-friendly passwords around, like 123456. This house of cards is destined to come down in the worst ways, like identity theft, drained bank accounts, or your email and social media profiles hijacked. But guess what? It doesn't have to be this way. Times have changed, angry password grandpa. Turns out you can now be lazy, cranky, and stay ahead of the breach victim herd just by using a solid, reputable password manager. This is an app for all your devices, phone, laptop, tablet, and any browser you use that autofills usernames and passwords for all your online accounts. It stores your passwords and creates an easy, secure way to access all of your accounts on any device. With a manager, your 50 million passwords are all saved and securely stored in an encrypted vault, which you can search if you need to. All you have to do is remember one master password. These apps have oodles of upsides. You can change all your passwords without having to remember new ones. Even for that secret Instagram account you made after a few too many beers and then didn't touch for five years. They also help you deal with the absolute pain of making new passwords whenever you need a new one. It doesn't help that each little dumb enter your new password box seems like it has a bizarre and sometimes contradictory set of rules for password creation. Those rules are formulated by monsters. If you look around online, the long list of things to do to help make your password stronger and attack proof are confusing. But before we move on, you still need to know the basics. Make strong passwords that are at least 12 to 16 characters long. Don't use pet or family names, your address, social security number, birth date, or other personal information. It's annoying, but you must never recycle or reuse a password. Change your passwords every three months or if there's a security incident. Don't let Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or any other browser save passwords for you. Use password phrases, usually six or more words long, for the best security. Include capital letters, numbers, and symbols if the app or site allows it. Got it? Okay. I probably don't need to remind you that most companies can't be trusted with your security or privacy. Every other day, we read headlines about a company getting its email, website, Twitter accounts, or something else hacked. Many prominent sites that routinely collect consumer data have inappropriate or dangerously lax password practices. A manager helps you stay ahead of other people's mistakes. Password managers keep everything in a secure backup location of your choosing, like Dropbox or an external drive. No one can open your password vault or backup unless they have access to it, the app's encryption keys, and know your master password. This way, no one can accidentally discover your passwords, like if you save them on a text file. And you can make really complicated passwords, too, because the manager will keep track of them and remember them for you. So, where do you start? Well, first decide which one you want to use. Make sure it's reputable and it's one you pay for. Free password managers are shady. You know how the internet works. If it's free, there's a catch, like bugs, dirty data practices, or a lack of support if anything goes wrong. Think of it like you're buying password insurance for a few bucks a month. When you pick one, do a little Googling for reviews and articles just to be sure it's right for you. Most people, ourselves included, like 1Password and LastPass. Dashlane is also highly rated, though it has more limitations than the others. Both LastPass and Dashlane have free versions if you're broke, though those plans are less flexible. Also, make sure you avoid scammers and only download the apps directly from the company's official website. Password manager setup is a snap. Sign up for your account and do all the billing hoo-ha. If you're creating a family account, you'll invite everyone else after signing up. Though, if someone in your family already has an account, ask them to invite you. Then download the manager's apps to your devices. Make sure you get its extension for your browser. When you want to fill in a password, simply click the extension symbol next to your address bar and sign in. Open the app and get going. Since you'll really only need to remember your master password after this, make that one a long phrase, a short sentence with a number and symbol thrown in for good measure. For example, you can use a dollar sign in place of an S or a three in place of an E. Then, start using and visiting apps and websites where you have accounts. The password manager will ask you to save your login, and from that point forward, it'll know when you're about to log in somewhere and prompt you for permission to fill in your username and password. That's one of the cool things. Password managers don't do things without your permission. We know all of this sounds like work, but try to think of it as a necessary chore, like laundry or dishes. 
Some managers, like LastPass, feel our pain and created a security challenge feature. This identifies old, weak, or compromised passwords and prompts you to run the challenge every few months. Take the time to redo passwords that could be easy for hackers and attackers to crack. Change passwords that are reused on different accounts. Listen to the password manager when it tells you to make a change. Right now, it feels like there are precious few things we can actually say are good, helpful, and positive about our internet experience. Password managers are one of them. They really do provide a simple solution to a huge problem that is best solved by robots. And when it comes to ourselves, our friends, families, and the communities we care about, something as simple as a smart password security tool can save us a whole lot of unnecessary stress and heartbreak. So go on and get one. As always, if you enjoyed this incredible video, hit subscribe for more and check out my security column, Bad Password on Engadget. Thank you.